Hey guys, so today we're getting up close and personal. I'm doing an updated hybrid cleaning routine. For those of you who are new to my channel and don't know what I have, I've got the all-on-four dental implants, which is four implants on top, four implants on bottom, and then I have hybrid dentures that fit over those implants via these access holes. So they fit over the abutments that stick out of the implants, and then they're screwed in, and these access holes are filled in with a composite material, which is like the same kind of material they use to fill cavities. So they don't come out unless the dentist takes them out. The hybrids are made out of acrylic and the teeth that I have are the Fenaras Two Teeth by Ivoclar Vivident and they are sponsoring today's video. Make sure that you check out their website. It's www.morethanadenture.com. I love their company. They're a dental manufacturing company but they're really big on patient education. So huge shout out to them not only for making great products but for educating the patient. So now I'm going to go over all of the products that I use every single time I clean my hybrids. The first tool is the most obvious one. We use a toothbrush but it has to be a soft bristle toothbrush. You do not want to spend all of this money on these hybrids and damage them with an abrasive toothbrush. Hard bristled brushes can scratch the surface and leave them susceptible to staining. Same thing with toothpaste. You don't want to use regular toothpaste. It's too abrasive. It can dull your teeth. It can scratch them. So make sure you're getting something very gentle like Sensodyne, which is less abrasive and won't scratch them like regular toothpaste can. Next, I use a floss. The one that I've always used is Oral-B's Super Floss. This stuff is made specifically specifically for large spaces and dental implants. It comes in a box of 50 threads. There's a stiff part that you use to thread underneath your hybrid. Then you have a spongy part, which is what you're going to use to actually floss with. The last part is just like regular floss. You don't want to use that to floss with. Check with your dentist to make sure that they give you the okay to use floss. Next, I use a water flosser. This is crucial if you have hybrid implants. With the all on four implants, there's a slight space between your gums and the hybrid. And you definitely want to use a water flosser to clean out any debris that might get trapped under there. You should be using a water flosser at least twice a day. And the one that I'm using in today's video is Exempt Care C3 Pro Visual Flosser. And last but not least, we have Mouthwash. And this is a new brand that I just started using and I actually really like it. It makes my mouth feel very fresh and minty feeling, which is obviously nice. Okay, so usually when I do a cleaning routine, my teeth are low key already clean. They're not clean today. I'm literally sitting here drinking coffee. They look gross, I've eaten. So I'm gonna keep it super real and show you basically what we always try to avoid people seeing. So make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you found it helpful. And I'm gonna pull my hair back because the water flosser can get a little bit messy. So here's what my hybrids look like before. Gross! I'm wetting my toothbrush and I put very little toothpaste on there because I load the toothbrush a couple of times. So I start off by brushing my teeth in a circular motion just mainly focusing on the front of the teeth because you really gotta break it down and get every single part that your toothbrush can hit. Now I'm gonna go over the top of the teeth, the ridge where it meets my gums, the bottom, around the implants, just every single thing that your toothbrush can hit, you wanna make sure you focus on that and don't forget the back part. This is something that you wanna take your time with. And this is why it's nice to have a magnifying mirror because then you can get up close and inspect the little crevices reload of your teeth to make sure that you didn't miss anything. And if you did miss something, then you're just gonna wanna go back over that in a up and down motion. Now I'm gonna hit the back of the hybrids on the upper and the lower because this will collect a lot of plaque. Rinse with a little bit of water. Next, I floss and I use a magnifying mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And I take the stiff part and thread it through down here. I thread this floss between each of the implants and I like this because the water flosser seems like it blasts out all of the food particles, but this seems like it really helps get rid of all of the film. There's definitely a learning curve when it comes to threading the floss underneath the upper hybrid. And what I've found is that going in from the back makes it a lot easier. So now that I've loosened everything up with the super floss, I'm gonna go ahead and use the water flosser to further clean everything out of there. I'm specifically focusing on the underside of my hybrid, down here and up here. Tiny food particles get trapped underneath your hybrid, so that is the place that you wanna focus on when you're using a water flosser. Next, I use mouthwash, and when I swish it in my mouth, I'm making sure it gets all up under the hybrid. And then the very last step is I take my toothbrush, run it under the water again, and I inspect.
So that's it, that's the routine. I brush my teeth when I wake up in the morning before I've done my hair and my makeup because obviously the water pick is dribbling out of my mouth. I don't wanna mess my makeup up. So if you have the all-in pore implants, let me know what your cleaning routine looks like. Does it look similar to mine? Does it look different? What kind of products are you using? Have you encountered any challenges in keeping them clean? Again, I wanna thank Ivaclar Vivident for sponsoring this video. If you found it helpful, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you get all of these updates and I will see you guys again next time and y'all take care.